Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. yud Hey vav Hey is our power and authority. Yahweh works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahweh with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. You yourselves know, brothers, that our visit to you was not fruitless. On the contrary, although we had already suffered and been outraged in Philippi, as you know, we had the courage, united with our God, to tell you the good news, even under great pressure. For the appeal we make does not flow from error or from impure motives, neither do we try to trick people. Instead, since God has tested us and found us to be fit to be entrusted with the good news, this is how we speak, not to win favor with people, but with God, who tests our hearts. For as you know, never did we employ flattering talk, nor did we put on a false front to mask greed. God is a witness. Nor did we seek human praise either from you or from others as emissaries of the Messiah. We could have made our own weight felt, but instead we were gentle when we were with you, like a mother feeding and caring for her children. We were so devoted to you that we were glad to share with you not only God's good news, but also our own lives. Because you have become very dear to us. For you remember, brothers, our toil and hardship, how we work night and day, not to put a burden on you, on any of you, while you were proclaiming God's good news to you. You are witnesses, and so is God, of how holy righteous and blameless our behavior was in the sight of you believers. For you know that we treated each one of you the way a father treats his children. We encouraged you and comforted you and appealed to you to lead lives worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Another reason we regularly thank God is that when you heard the word of God from us, you received it not merely as a human word, but as it truly is, God's word, what, which is at work in you believers. For brothers, you came to be imitators of God's congregations in Yehuda that are united with the Messiah Yeshua. You suffered the same things from your countrymen as they did from the Judeans who both killed the Lord Yeshua and the prophets and chased us out too. They are displeasing God and opposing all mankind by trying to keep us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be delivered. Their object seems to always to make their sins as bad as possible, but God's fury will catch up with them in the end. And as for us, brothers, when we were deprived of your company for a short time in person, but not in thought, we missed you and tried hard to come and see you. We wanted so much to come to you. I, Shaul, tried more than once, but the adversary stopped us. For when our Lord Yeshua returns, what will be our hope, our joy, our crown to boast about? Won't it be you? Yes, you are our glory and our joy. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, we can learn a lot. We can aim to make fellowship fruitful, be filled with courage and united with y'all to tell the good news of any, to tell the good news in any situation. Aim to have pure motives and be honest with people. Know that y'all will test you to know if you should be trusted with the good news. Aim to win favor with y'all who tests our hearts. Know that Yah is watching. Therefore, do not put on masks. Be authentic. Be gentle with others, like a mother feeding and taking care of her children. 
Be devoted to each other and sharing the good news in your lives as well. Aim not to burden others as you share and proclaim Yah's good news. Aim to be holy, that is set apart, righteous, that is obeying the law, and blameless in the sight of all believers. Treat others as a father treats his children, encouraging, comforting, appealing to appeal to lead lives worthy of Yah who calls you into his kingdom and glory. Thank Yah regularly for others receiving Yah's word as it truly is, Yah's word, which is which it is in work with followers of Messiah. Aim to be imitators of Yah's congregation being united with the Messiah. Yeshua, knowing that we will be killed and chased like Yeshua was, aim to be pleasing to Yah by sharing and proclaiming the good news so that others will be delivered. Aim to visit with each other often. Pray that the adversary will not stop you from seeing each other. Trust that the good news will re- trust that the Lord Yeshua will return. He is our hope, our joy, our crown, our glory, and our joy. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can be honest and gentle, devoted, thankful, united with each other. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can be gentle like a mother and encouraging like a father. End with the Arianic blessing. Yud Hey Vav Hey will kneel before you presenting gifts. He will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahava will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.